Okay, so video for the new Yanyan Ultra, Yanyan Moonlight Ultra, excuse me. And you might see a couple pictures roll by. Now we're looking at the case. It's basically the same, but the outside is different. It looks like a like black leather, but it's a faux leather. It's got an upgraded cable. It looks really, really nice. At the end of this video, if you want to win this $1,200 set, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe below this video. Uh, appreciate it. You got to do that if you want to actually get something. As a demonstration, the end of this video will be a Galileo. I've tried to do this a couple times, twice each time. The first one, the person didn't reply. The second one, a person named Beavis in UK won a Galileo. I think he got it already. Uh, maybe he can comment below this video. Um, and then the second person that won the Galileo on this channel didn't get in touch with me. So it's happened twice. Last try for the Galileo, I'll do it today. I got the wheel all set up. So someone's gonna win that. But if you wanna win a $1,200 set, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe underneath this video. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the border. Put that up. Similar to, I changed this, top left side. This is a set that I would consider similar to the Monarch Mark II um, and also the Oracle Mark II. It's just coincidence that these are both EA Audio. Trust me, I'm not, I didn't even highly rate either of these sets. You can go check the videos. But their technical ability, the, the fact that they're tribrids with semi-similar configurations, um, and that one of them has a bass that's similar to one of the switches on this, and the other has treble that's similar to this with some of the switches. So it, this falls right in the middle of these two. I think that the bass is a 7 out of 10. The mids are a 7 out of 10. The treble is a 6 out of 10. It would be the weakest point if I were to, and I just did mention. The resolution is a 7 out of 10. Let's talk about the price, which is $1,298. It's got a figure, configuration of four EST, four BAs, and one dynamic driver, an efficiency of 112 dB, and an impedance of 27 ohms. Now this is a set that I think is really good with um, Black Sabbath, for example, Metallica, Jimi Hendrix, Pantera, um, stuff that has one or two electric guitars using distortion pedals, uh, a bass kick drum, or two a high BPM, just a really busy type of music. Um, heavy metal, um, all kinds of death metal, stuff like that, I think would probably do good with this tuning because it's energetic. It's not quite fatiguing, but you're going to get every little bit of detail. The rhythm section is represented well, but not overbearing. Um, ironically, for reasons that I'm not really sure, Bob Marley seems to do, seems to love this set. So it's really good for reggae, Bob Marley in particular. I think it's just okay with uh, like Vivaldi, it's, there's not a problem with it. It can be slightly fatiguing and there might be a little bit too much energy in the low end in one of its configurations, but the other one really not so much. So it does classical. It's not like the previous review where I wouldn't wreck that at all. Female vocals, I think it does well. Um, again, if you're into variations and that really tucked mid type of mid-bass, which I'm not a fan of, but you like the way that plays female vocals, then this would be less ideal. Uh, than that set. Though I would take this over the variation for female vocals. This is just okay. There's nothing that's not great with it. Let's talk about the Spidergraph. Uh, bass goes to the Oracle Mark II. It's just got more slam. Mids and treble, I would say. I'd say the mids is a toss-up between the Monarch Mark II and the Yanyan Ultra. That's a compliment, actually, to the Yanyan Ultra. Um, the treble, I think, is definitely Monarch Mark II because the 5K does actually show itself. I think resolution goes to the Monarch. I think the stage and the tonality go to the Ultra. Stage is a psychoacoustic illusion that's related to partly boosting after 8 kilohertz. Gives a sense of presence and of energy and of liveliness and can also give a sense of being able to more easily pick out you think in your brain instruments on a virtual stage this is all in your head but it does seem like this does better than the others i think value these are all expensive i think the monarch mark ii if you're going to grab one of the three would be the one because it's it's less expensive than the one i'm reviewing today and the one that costs 600 or 650 or 699 i really wouldn't take it anyway i think so i don't consider that to be a value so that's the spider graph um, let's go ahead and take a look at the frequency response graph. This is the three settings. You can see that in two settings you've got uh, more bass and then you've got a fall off starting at about 4.8 kilohertz. It's not a drastic one and it's got energy going all the way off. Um, and it's not bad but that 5k is the 
the peak of Mount Everest right there. The other tuning has a little bit less bass, but it's got more extension. It's more focused on the treble region with a boost. So it's uh, that's the one that I would say would be probably more appropriate for classical music. In fact, it does quite good. Whereas Bob Marley in that yellow configuration sounds excellent, as do um, things that I mentioned previously. So that is the that is the Yan Yan. Here's where I give my opinion. If you're going to charge a thousand two hundred dollars, which is double than a previous version, and simply add drivers, I would have just my opinion made a new series, like give it a different name, because the the Moonlight and the Mahina were six hundred six fifty. That's kind of how people image the Moonlight, and then you double the price. You're already there's some sets like the like the what's the name of that the Moondrop Blessing Blessing Two. Dusk. Now they're going to be th number three, which is kind of like beating a dead horse. However, it's kind of a brand within a brand. Though it's got enough people that really like it. It's got enough mm, history that you can kind of build upon that. Some companies have some brands where they can, you know, the IE series for Sennheiser, the 200. And you can take something and align it with other things um, as part of an appeal point without turning off people when you up the price. So I think that the Moonlight could have done with a name change and then they could have created a new tier of their own lineup because they did that price wise do it with the name just my opinion as a reviewer I think a lot of people agree with me and here we go with the uh, Galileo spin this you got seven days to get in touch with me or I'm going to put this on the secondary market and give the money to an animal charity Stravideo Straw Video, you've got seven days to get in touch with me. Worldwide shipping is free. Contact me on the channel's email. It's in the About section. I don't know why people have trouble with that. In YouTube, there is a section to select videos or community and About. If you click About and then you click the email, that's the email to send your mail to. That's it. Seven days. And I'm out. Come on.